Hey everyone, today we're going to look at insect species that have adapted amazing defense mechanisms, like super painful stings or deadly venomous bites. There are some insects out there that you absolutely don't want to mess with. So join me for today's video as we're going to take a look at the top 15 most dangerous insects. Number 15. Blister Beetles While most insects on this list sting or bite, blister beetles work a little differently than most. Found throughout the United States and Central America, these beetles stand apart thanks to their black and yellow patterning, and while they may be pretty, whatever you do, I suggest not touching one. This is because they defend themselves by secreting a nasty substance through their skin. The substance in question is known as cantharidin, which is an odorless, colorless chemical that creates blisters or welts in the skin that are often accompanied by pain, burning, redness, and swelling. And while medical research has shown that cantharidin may help in treating viral skin infections such as warts, I suggest keeping these beetles off your healthy skin. Number 14. Locusts Now, generally speaking, locusts are docile, solitary insects. However, if you happen to be a farmer, then these guys can become your worst nightmare. That's because ever since biblical times, locusts have been known to periodically collect in swarms, where they decimate large areas of crops and vegetation. This can lead to widespread famines in areas dependent on local crops, with the death tolls easily reaching into the thousands if enough people are affected. Now, their one saving grace is that these little critters who live on nearly every continent don't swarm all the time. In fact, they spend most of their lives alone. However, when the population density begins to increase in a given area, they tend to become more gregarious, attract each other, eat more, and develop faster. This then ultimately leads to the devastating swarms that they're well known for, with these often lasting for years before they subside. Number 13. Fleas While fleas may be small, they're one of the most notorious carriers of disease. After all, they are largely credited with transmitting the Black Plague, as they are the creatures that infected rodents that in turn spread the disease across Europe's major port cities and killed an estimated 25 million people. And while the risk of flea-borne illness isn't as high as it was in the far more unsanitary 14th century, they are still a formidable health risk. For example, in the United States, squirrel fleas and oriental rat fleas are known to spread plague in rural areas, while cat fleas are known to transmit typhus and infect other cats that go on to transmit cat scratch disease. As such, fleas are a danger to both humans and animals alike, and so if you find out that your pet or parts of your home have been infested by them, I'd suggest doing whatever you can to get rid of them. Number 12. Cockroaches When it comes to dangerous critters, few are as hard to kill as a cockroach. After all, they're practically immune to everything from bug sprays to nuclear radiation, and are nearly impossible to squash due to the fact that they can survive forces that are more than 900 times their body weight and can regenerate their limbs if they happen to be chopped off. As such, they are one of the most difficult insects to exterminate, and this is a problem because cockroaches are able to spread disease. More specifically, cockroaches will eat virtually anything, and this ingested matter can survive in a cockroach's digestive system for years. Since cockroaches vomit and then defecate on food, it's believed that the diseases they pick up from eating can contaminate human food, with some of the transmittable bacteria including Salmonella, Staphylococcus, Streptococcus, and in rare cases, even the polio virus. So if you ever see the smallest signs of cockroaches in your house, I suggest doing everything in your power to get rid of them. Number 11. Termites while termites are unlikely to harm you directly, they can easily do a number on your property if given half a chance. You see, termites are found all over the world, and some species stand apart for their ability to build these massive mounds that are very complex and secure. However, termites also specialize in destroying structures. You see, termites primarily feed on wood, and while they are very small, they can infest an area in colonies that can go into the millions. While it would take a colony of 60,000 termites a total of about 5 months to eat a piece of 2x4, in large enough quantities and given enough time, they can do some serious damage, especially if they manage to make it to the foundations of your home. If left untreated, they can do some serious damage in 3-5 to five years, and in just 15 years can completely destroy your home. As a result, they are credited with causing billions of dollars in damage per year, making these pests a rather dangerous pain in the butt. Number 10. Ticks. When it comes to dangerous insects, few are as small as a tick, generally coming in at just 3-5 to five millimeters in length. It's hard for the average person to even see them, 
but despite their tiny size, they have the ability to dish out a lot of pain. Found across the world, they tend to congregate in warm, humid areas and, generally speaking, will assault humans by biting them and sucking out some blood. As they do so, they grow in size and can stay attached for multiple days and become as large as a marble before having their fill and moving along. While this usually isn't painful, what makes ticks problematic is the fact that they tend to transmit disease. More specifically, there are a fair amount of ticks that are infected with Lyme disease, which is an illness that causes fever, headache, fatigue, and a characteristic skin rash, and if left untreated, the infection can spread to the joints, heart, and the nervous system. So if you're ever adventuring in a woody area, I'd suggest wearing long sleeves and put pants on to prevent those critters from latching onto you. Number 9. The Killer Bee Of all the insects on this list, the only one that was created due to crazy experimentation is the killer bee. You see, back in the 1950s, biologist Warwick E. Kerr decided to breed honeybee species from Europe with species from southern Africa out of his lab in Brazil. The hope was that these bees would produce more honey in tropical conditions than European species did. Yet soon it became clear that this species was a lot more defensive than regular honeybees. And while this wasn't too much of a concern when the bees were in quarantine, it became a very large concern when 26 colonies escaped in 1957. This has since led to the killer bee ravaging across South America, Central America, and the Southern United States. And this is a problem, because the killer bee is far more aggressive than regular bees. This is because they have a tendency to attack people rather than simply ignoring them. And due to their extremely painful stings, killer bee attacks have led to the deaths of many innocent passers-by over the years. So if you're in an area that's known to have a lot of killer bees, I suggest steering clear of their hives. Yeah, good advice. Number 8. The Warrior Wasp Alright, with a name like this thing, when it comes to insect stings, few inflict quite as much raw pain as the Warrior Wasp. It's located across the rainforests of South and Central America. The Warrior Wasp typically lives in large hives and gets its name due to the loud drumming sound that it makes if its nest is threatened. And this sound is supposedly similar to marching soldiers. However, I think that these warrior wasps deserve their name for their aggressiveness and their offensive abilities as well. This is because while they won't go out of their way to bother humans, if you disturb their nest, they'll attack you en masse, chasing you down as you run away. If it catches you, it will sting you with a nasty venom that not only produces an extremely sharp stinging sensation, but also contains serotonin, which is the neurotransmitter that usually makes you feel healthy and happy. However, this wasp manages to use its serotonin in a sick and twisted way, as when it stings, the serotonin falsely signals the victim's brain to constrict its blood vessels, as if it had a serious gaping wound, causing extreme pain. As a result, it's advisable that you steer clear of their hives if you're ever on a trek through the rainforest. Number 7. The Murder Hornet Alright, the Murder Hornet has a sting that's truly like no other. Often compared to having hot iron rods stabbed into your body, these horrible hornets are endemic to eastern and southeastern Asia and typically live in hives. They're known to be particularly aggressive, as even at the slightest disturbance, they'll often attack an intruder en masse, with their assaults having the potential to be lethal if enough of them sting you. Yet, when they're not attacking humans, they tend to attack beehives, stealing their larvae in order to feed their young. In their native areas, bees know how to defend against them by attacking the hornets as a group, but abroad, this is not the case. You see, killer wasps have managed to hitch a ride on the container ships between Southeast Asia and the United States and Canada, and as a result, increasing numbers of these wasps have been spotted on the western seaboard. This is a problem, because when murder hornets attack North American bee nests, they don't know what to do, causing these wasps to often kill thousands of bees in just one attack, completely decimating their colonies. Since there's already a great shortage of bees, this is a serious problem, and as a result, efforts have been made to exterminate these hornets before they can cause some serious damage. Number 6. Tsetse Flies at first glance, the tsetse fly looks like a lightweight, coming in at less than one centimeter long. They seem pretty plain and ordinary at first glance. However, the reality is that they are one of the most dangerous insects known to man. And this is because this African insect is the main transmitter of sleeping sickness, which is a disease that's extremely dangerous. More specifically, when a tsetse fly bites a human, it sometimes expels a parasite into the bloodstream. This parasite infects you with sleeping sickness, and while the symptoms are initially pretty mild and include fever, headaches, and aching muscles, they eventually evolve into more serious symptoms such as extreme lethargy, confusion, and poor coordination. 
Without treatment, this disease almost always leads to the death of the victim, making these flies extremely dangerous. However, I should note that there are now medicines to combat this disease, although over the years the disease has become more and more resistant to them. To make matters worse, many parasites are able to remain in their victim's skin and fat cells for decades before infecting them, which can make it really difficult to figure out that you have sleeping sickness until it's too late. So, if you're in an area known to have these tsetse flies, I'd suggest taking every precaution possible to avoid getting bitten by one of these brutal bloodsuckers. Number 5. The Bullet Ant when it comes to danger, the issues with the bullet ant are obvious in the name. That's because despite being just 18 to 30 millimeters in length, it's known for having one of the strongest insect stings in the animal kingdom. Found throughout the rainforests of Central and South America, these ants typically live in large colonies and will really only attack if provoked. However, if they are, they'll then rush whatever they see as a threat and will release chemicals that signal other ants in the vicinity to sting repeatedly. Now, the sting itself is described as being a blinding electric pain that's comparable to being shot with a gun, and the pain reportedly comes in waves that last for as long as 24 hours. This is primarily thanks to the fact that its sting has a venom known as panaritoxin, which works to block synapse transmission in the central nervous system. This ultimately leads not only to excruciating pain, but also to temporary paralysis, uncontrollable shaking, vomiting, fever, and cardiac arrhythmia. Yet the one good thing about this sting is that the pain tends to remain localized, and so no matter how many times you're stung, it's nearly impossible for the bullet ants to kill you. As a result, bullet ants were often used in coming-of-age rituals by tribes living deep in the Amazon. Yet regardless, I'd still suggest leaving these rituals alone if you'd like to make your next tropical vacation a painless one. Number 4. The Kissing Bug while kissing bugs may have a harmless sounding name, I can almost guarantee you that you wouldn't want to smooch from one. Measuring in at just 2 centimeters in length and having a plain brown color, they're known to target the mouths and faces of humans with their red, itchy stings. Now, generally speaking, a kissing bug sting isn't too big of a deal, as while a bite may have the appearance of hives, it usually goes away after about a week. However, across Mexico, Central America, and South America, there is a very real risk that those stung by the kissing bug can contract Chagas disease. Now, kissing bugs transmit Chagas disease via their feces, which they give to humans due to the fact that they typically defecate after stinging their victims. If you do contract it, you can expect the first few weeks of the disease to be relatively tame, as you likely only experience very mild flu-like symptoms. However, if you don't realize that these symptoms could be a sign of Chagas disease, then there's about a 20% chance that it can become chronic about 10 to 25 years down the road. This is extremely bad news, as not only is chronic Chagas disease incurable, but it's also life-threatening, as it often causes irregular heart rhythms, the development of an enlarged heart, and even the dilation of the esophagus and the colon. So if you ever do get a kissing bug bite and begin to even feel a little bit unwell, I'd suggest going to see a doctor ASAP. Number 3. The Goliath Bird Eater Tarantula I love this one. While there are many types of tarantula out there, none quite match the might of the Goliath Bird Eater. Holding the Guinness World Record for being the largest spider on the planet, these critters can have leg spans of up to 30 centimeters, making them the size of the average dinner plate. Found in the coastal rainforests of northern South American countries such as Suriname and Guyana, they got their names thanks to an 18th century engraving that showed another kind of tarantula eating a hummingbird. Ironically, though, this means that the Goliath bird eater tarantula does not actually eat birds. However, it is known to dine on insects, frogs, and rodents. In order to do so, the spider uses its inch-long fangs to clamp down on its victims and pump neurotoxins through their veins, and from there it drags the animal back to its burrow, liquefies its inside, and then sucks it dry. And while it isn't exactly capable of doing this with a human, it certainly can still do some damage. After all, while Goliath bird-eater venom can easily kill many animals, it usually only causes mild pain in humans, and oftentimes the tarantula won't let out any venom. Yet I should note that even if you avoid a bite, there's a chance that they may assault you with their leg hairs. Now, while this may sound crazy, when threatened, the Goliath bird eater will rub its legs together and launch a shower of miniature missiles into the air at you. These hairs then connect with your eyes and skin and cause irritation and allergic reactions. And as such, I would suggest keeping your distance from one of these impressive spiders. Number 2. The Mosquito out of all the bugs on the planet, none are quite as dangerous as the humble mosquito. That's because while a mosquito bite may not be all that painful, it can quite easily be deadly. 
You see, most experts agree that mosquitoes kill at least 725,000 people every single year, with this being largely thanks to the fact that the mosquito-borne infections account for about 17% of all cases of infectious diseases worldwide. This is because they not only have the capacity to transmit diseases and parasites into humans, but are also extremely common around the globe, with this being especially true in hotter regions of the world that, generally speaking, have less medical infrastructure in place to deal with mosquito-borne infections. And while mosquitoes are credited with the transmission of a whole host of diseases, by far the most common and certainly one of the most deadly is malaria. For those of you who don't know, malaria is easily one of the most lethal killers south of the equator and is characterized by headaches, pains, chills, and diarrhea at first, and eventually in severe nerve damage and death as the disease progresses. In fact, this disease, which is almost entirely transmitted via mosquitoes, is so bad that it leads to the infections of about 200 million people every year and the deaths of about 400,000, making it a bona fide killer. When you further consider that mosquito-borne diseases such as dengue fever infect upwards of 400 million victims annually and kills 25,000 people, while yellow fever infects upwards of 200,000 people and leads to about 30,000 deaths per year, one thing is certain, mosquitoes are seriously deadly. Number 1. The Brown Recluse At first glance, the brown recluse looks innocent enough. Found throughout the central and southern United States, it's rather plain in appearance, and at about 15 millimeters in length, it isn't all that large. Given the fact that, like its name suggests, it's brown and reclusive, it isn't that much of a threat. However, if one happens to find its way into your home, then you may be in need of an exterminator. After all, while they tend to stay in dark, secluded areas such as under porches and inside closets, they can survive without food for several months and can produce more than 150 spiderlings in one year. This is a problem because getting bit by a brown recluse is like playing a game of roulette. According to the Integrated Pest Management Program at UC Berkeley, 90% of bites heal without medical attention or scarring, and most will simply leave a red small mark that goes away after a short period of time. And while you may also experience some mild symptoms such as itching, chills, fever, nausea, or sweating, in most cases you have nothing to worry about. However, if a brown recluse manages to pump a lot of venom into you, then you may be in for a bit of a ride. That's because in about 10% of cases, a small white blister appears soon after the bite. This causes the tissue to become hard, and this soon creates a blue-gray and blue-white patch around the bite area. Eventually, these explode into what's called a volcano lesion, which leaves a large gangrenous open wound that can be as large as a human hand. Now, generally speaking, these types of reactions can last more than eight weeks until a full recovery is made, and since there's no available anti-venom, chances are you won't be able to speed up your recovery. I'll see you next time. Thank you to our channel members.